Am I the asshole? For telling my mill she won't be seeing my baby after throwing a baby shower for herself? My husband and I are expecting our first child. We move to be closer to his family. I'm no contact with mine. My mother-in-law has been referring to the baby as her baby this entire time. She will say things like I can't wait for my baby to be born. My baby is going to be so loved. This rubs me the wrong way for reasons I cannot explain, but my husband tells me to ignore her. My mill wanted to throw me a baby shower and invite her friends. She said they made an agreement a long time ago that they would celebrate each other's kids' weddings and births. My husband and I eloped and declined the reception for her friends since we don't know them. My mill told me that I owed it to her to let her throw the baby shower since I hurt her friend's feelings by not having wedding reception. I asked if I could invite my friends, and she said no, that this was for her friends, and that if my friends wanted to throw me a shower they could. I reluctantly agreed. My husband and I spent hours on our registry, and my mill asked for it so she could share with her friends. She said she forwarded the registry on. She asked me what design I wanted on my cake and cookies. I told her flowers because I am decorating the nursery in a garden theme. At the shower they provided me with a mother-to-be sash and my mill granny to be sash to wear. I noticed that the theme of the shower was circus animals. The cake had an elephant and balloons on it, and the cookies were animals. At first I thought that maybe the floral theme was just too difficult. So I rolled with it until it was time to open presents. Every present was some sort of circus animal. Onesies, blankets, toys nothing on my registry. I was a little confused and even went so far to check my registry to make sure I hadn't goofed up and changed everything. I thanked everyone for their gifts and tried to sound as gracious as possible, but I was so confused. My husband, who is a little less tactful than I am, showed up at the end of the shower and noticed the theme right away. He goes what's up with all the circus animals? He looks at the presents and says, this isn't what we asked for. Then he looked at his mom and goes mom, what did you do? She smiled and said, I didn't like the theme you chose for my baby. I'm going to decorate my baby's nursery at my house with circus animals, so I created a registry for myself. My husband said, you did what? She says, my baby is going to need a room at my house so I threw a shower for myself. I lost my composure and told her that she would not see my baby and to stop calling the baby hers, and my husband told his mom that she's delusional if she thinks we're going to allow this. She started crying and said we are just withholding her baby from her. We've been getting texts from his family since the shower, calling us selfish and ungrateful and saying we ruined her joy of being a grandma. Are we the ah? Uh? Not the asshole. Her circus has plenty of clowns. What the Oedipus? She's putting herself in your place. She's having a baby with her son, somewhere in her psyche. Good lord. This is a woman who never learned to cut the cord. You are not the asshole in any way. This is creepy as fuck. Not the asshole. Is this for real? I honestly would lose my mind. His mother has many screws loose and I'd move far far away. This is just the beginning of a huge nightmare. I have to ask again if this is real? I shuddered reading this because it sounds like something my mother would do. The difference being that I could call my own mother a psycho and you had this unfortunate experience with your mill. I'm so glad your husband stood up for you. Not the asshole at all. Does your husband have siblings? Is your baby a girl? I'm getting the vibes Mill either regrets only having one child or never got the daughter she dreamed of. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I love the part where your husband immediately understands what's going on mom, what did you do? He knows who she is. She has main character syndrome. Yikes, not the asshole. It'd get it if she said my grandbaby or something to indicate that she wasn't the primary provider of that child. It's almost like she's treating you as a surrogate for her baby. I'm sorry if this is rude but I don't know how else to put it. That woman needs therapy. Not the asshole. Did grandma's friends realize they were buying gifts for her home, and not for the parents' home? I can't believe they would all go along with that. 
I'm not gifting my geriatric pal $500 bassinet to play mom. You are not a surrogate. Not the asshole. I doubt her friends even knew. She probably pretended the registry she made was yours. She sounds incredibly manipulative. Glad your husband isn't putting up with that. Not the asshole this is psychotic behavior on part of your mill. Go no contact and get a restraining order I am afraid she is going to try and kidnap your baby. I kinda want you to photoshop one of those onesies on a picture of your husband and send it to her. Here's your baby, smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Not the asshole but the good news is that what your husband has seen, cannot be unseen. I know it would be expensive but it's time to move and make sure it is somewhere without grandparents rights. Also secure your wills and who is to be guardian should anything happen to you or DH. I'm confused where the gifts addressed to you? Did the friends know the gifts were for her home? What did they say when you started crying? Why did she invite you to her party if they were celebrating her and not you? This is so confusing. Uh, she sounds mentally unstable. She literally thinks your baby is hers. Don't let her anywhere near your child. Put cameras around your home and make sure she doesn't have a key. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Your mill has issues. I'd be very careful sharing information about the baby with her family and friends. What is it that you are supposed to be grateful for? A shower that she hijacked and gifts given to you for your baby that she's keeping for herself and intended to keep all along? That's pretty rich. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm glad your husband supports you here. Time to lock everything down. Info diet, cameras etc. Not the asshole. This is narcissistic behavior. My mother wanted my baby to call her mommy. Come visit us over on Our Race by Narcissists if you're interested in understanding this kind of crap, but you're probably better off just cutting her off. Not the asshole and I'm glad your husband stood by you instead of Mill. Not the asshole. Silver lining at least your hubs cannot say to ignore her since he's seen how far she's come. I think it is high time for you to have a convo with hubs, I fear he'll cave to mommy in a second. Not the asshole and duck, my baby should have been shut down immediately. I've got two sons and look forward to hopefully being a grandmother one day, I cannot imagine having the audacity and plain idiocy to describe their babies as mine. Yikes. Not the asshole. This woman obviously has control issues. This is some pretty wild behavior. I wouldn't feel comfortable with her being around my kids for extended periods or alone. Not that you would, but never leave her alone with the baby. At any. Not the asshole, this lady is unhinged and you should never let her be alone with your child. Not the asshole. And good on your husband for recognizing this insanity. Not the asshole in fact. Her behavior is actually pretty scary. Your husband's tact was spot on. She's delusional and frighteningly entitled and unstable. Block everyone including your husband's incubator. If she persists seek advice about a stay away order. She's not right on every level. Not the asshole but the nosy part of me is dying to how her friends reacted when they realized the gifts were going to granny and not you. Did they enable her or call her out? to our mother-in-law sounds insane. Not the asshole, sounds like your mill has some serious mental health issues. Not the asshole. Yowza I would be moving further away. Oh man I'd be moving as far away from her as possible, if possible. Wild to imagine a living room full of women who think this is okay and fully supported it. Just wait until she calls CPS on you. Consider a restraining order. Not the asshole, I hope you took all of the shower gifts just to have the option throw them in the trash. Not the asshole that woman is not well. Good on your husband for having your back, and I think it's time for yo talk to him about going no contact with your mill, at least for a while. Not the asshole. Hubs knew what was up right away good on him. Oof what a toxic woman, nta.